Hello everyone, good morning, thanks for joining me. Today I am out at a preserve that I haven't been to for a couple of months now, so I'm really excited to be out to explore, and really my goal today is just to go out, hike around, and see what I can find. So let's get started, it's a beautiful day, it's nice and cool, the humidity's actually finally dropped, so hopefully it'll be a nice day for things to be out to get some good pictures. I'm headed downhill, the trail leads down to a brook, and I paused here for a minute because I hear, I've heard a gray squirrel doing its alarm call for the past little while now. It's down behind me a little ways, so I'm just gonna sit and see if there's a reason that it's doing its alarm call, take a peek at the trees, see if there's anything that might be up in the trees, and if I don't see anything, I'll just continue on, but always have to be aware of the noises that are happening around you because that can oftentimes tell you if there's anything that might be worth stopping for. Also seems to be a family of crows down this way, so we'll see what we find. Well, that was close. I was going down the trail and I heard something crunching off to my left and I saw kind of like the back end silhouette of something. I didn't know what it was. And a little bear just came out and was probably about 20 feet from me. I just, I sat down on the trail because I, I was hoping it was gonna come out onto the trail into the open and it did and it looked at me, it froze, I got a couple pictures of it, and then it ran up a tree in front of me. Um, and I got a few more pictures of it. It was about 10 feet up the tree, and I backed away slowly because I didn't know. It looked like it was a yearling. It was probably out on its own now. Um, but I didn't want to take any chances because I didn't know if the mom was around, so I backed up a little bit. And as I backed away, it actually crept back down the tree and then just took off into the woods. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. That's probably exactly what the squirrels were alerting to. So that's, you just gotta keep your ear out and you never know what you might come along. Man, that's awesome. That was a beautiful bear. So yearling bears is what they're called when, so bears, black bears at least, stay with their mom for about a year and a half. So they're born um, in the winter time in their den, and then they come out the first year, spend that whole first year with their, with their mom, they hibernate again with her, and then the year after that, in June, July, is when the mom kicks them out and, and they're out on their own. Because then the mother bear actually goes out and looks for a mate again. So that was probably uh, just recently been out on its own, out exploring on its own, so it's awesome. Very awesome. I wish it wasn't so skittish, but at the same time, I'm glad it's skittish. Uh, I don't want it to be getting used to humans, because that's when bears get in trouble, so. Oh, man. Awesome. I'm sorry I didn't get any videos of it. It was a very quick encounter, and I was keeping my eyes out to make sure that there wasn't um, the mom bear anywhere around, so. Whew. Awesome. I'm going to uh, continue on now. Let's see what else we can find. It 
see if I can show you this here. So this is the tree that the bear climbed up on. Let's see if I can show you these, this claw marks that are on the side of the tree here. Got that one there. So you can see they are amazing climbers. They just, the bear climbed up that 10 foot tree in about two seconds. So those are the, the things to look for when you're looking at trees. If you see scratch marks like that, that's black bear. So I'm gonna continue on down the trail. It actually kind of follows the general path uh, of where the bear went. So I'm just gonna keep my eyes open and we'll see what happens. It's very dense with mountain laurel in here, so it's gonna be hard to find it again. But it, oftentimes if you listen, you can hear them crunching on the leaves and sticks because they're not, they're very quiet in the forest, but also they're not the most graceful things in the world. So um, they do make some noise when they're walking through the forest. So I'll keep my ear out and we'll see what we can find. There's a wren calling down here on the trail, off to the right it sounds like, by the water. So I'm going to see if I can creep up and get some video and pictures of it. it sounds like the wren is farther down the brook. All this water ends up leading down to the brook that's in the lowest part of the valley. And it also sounds like there's a water thrush down there as well, so I'm going to scoot down, follow the water down to the main water source, and uh, hopefully I'll get some pictures of the wren and the water thrush all the way down. Well, I followed the water down to the main uh, brook through the forest and I could not find the wren or the water thrush. They uh, flew down farther along the water and now with the sound of the water I can barely hear anything else other than the water flowing, but I mean look at this view. I'm just going to hang out around here for a little while. Try to work on my uh, my landscape nature photography a little bit. Um, see if I can get some pictures of this water, and then I'll move on farther down the trail. finished around the brook still no luck with the water thrush or the wren um, but I'm headed uphill now away from the brook and actually headed up towards the summit so we'll see what uh, what views we have up there the Sun's really strong so it might not be very good picture wise but 
it's still supposed to be a really nice view and we'll see if we find anything on the way up. You can tell we're getting up into the higher elevations now because all the trees have turned to be dominated by chestnut oaks and there's also blueberry bushes down along the forest floor so they do good in the, the drier, rockier conditions and we're definitely getting up there in elevation. gotten some bad information or I misinterpreted the map. Uh, I thought that there was going to be a nice view from up top on this hill um, and there isn't. In fact it's just all covered in forest so um, I guess the view is actually pretty much right from the parking lot from the car but now I know. Um, so I've just been sitting here quietly for about a half hour now and the birds just only now started to really sing again. There's some wood thrushes off to my right and there's been some nut hatches that have been around me as well but it's been very quiet today in the forest. Well, that's gonna be it for me today. I hiked back up from the water and didn't really find anything on the way back. I did see a couple oven birds and a, a nut hatch or so, but it was just one of those days where I couldn't really get any decent pictures. Everything was far away or high up in the canopy. Um, by far the best experience today was the black bear that I had um, the first 15 minutes or so being out in the trail. But I, uh, I'm out of the forest now. I'm gonna hike down to a little field and uh, hopefully I'll find something down there to take some pictures of. But if not, that'll be it for me today. And uh, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.